so these are two pairs of finished railroad wheels see I already painted them and I uh, I corrected them correcting means <coughs> making sure that the axle is perpendicular to the wheel so when it spins it doesn't wobble the wobbling that you see here when it rolls on the rail is due to the incorrect balancing which is fine things like in one spot you have more tin than in the other so basically one side is heavier than the other that's why it wobbles but in terms of eccentricity it's pretty good you can see it especially when you roll it or rather when you take a ruler you see it doesn't wobble So this is the first two wheel pairs of, uh, I believe 28 uh, millimeters in diameter not the flange but the wheel itself Okay, see? A clean circle. Just to make it a little higher of the board. Maybe so I need a pick. Just need a pick to mark the hole, and you're done. Okay, go. Just don't need to don't need to push too much against it against the disc. So the reason you're making them quite long is just to have a lot more surface area to, to be glued to and to avoid being melted by the heat coming from the melt soldering iron
now I will demonstrate how to do a instant soldering method. This is when all the parts are all ready and uh, they are put into a mold and they're held together by themselves. There's no fasteners as you see. To demonstrate how I assembled this wheel, this locomotive wheel, I'm gonna undo it just for the demonstration. Okay. So here's the here's the hub. Basically, what is a hub? A hub is a rolled metal. This is a rolled metal around the hub nail. What is a hub nail? Hub nail is basically a steel nail that you use as an axle. Okay, you can see it here. And uh, then you roll around the snail. The washer, that's the washer right here. The washer is something like that. And you get it. You get it from uh, something like that. Basically it's a wire that you roll around well I rolled around the drill bit well slightly bigger than that one and then you cut you cut with your uh, uh, wire cutters so that's a that's a, that's a snap ring that is used to reinforce this whole uh, wheel structure and uh, this is the actual wheel here it is. So we're gonna put it back together. This is the ring, the outer, the outer ring, and that's that's a inner ring. Indicates that it's an outside ring. So you see this doesn't come together, but it will uh, eventually, you will see how, because of the snap ring, outside snap ring. That's the inner snap ring. Set. You move it to the opposite. The joint, you want to move it to the opposite. The opposite to this one. So now you insert the inner ring. The gap also has to be opposite to the gap of the snap uh, of the uh, inner ring. There you go. Now you you place the outside ring, the flange. And as you can see, the flange actually locks the outside ring tight. So obviously you see those wooden parts I glued them previously pieces of uh, popsicle sticks they're holding the flange ring in place tightly. So now what you should do is you place the hub with the axle I already measured the distance I'm going to need of the axle, the length of the axle to protrude a certain length. Now I'm going to place them according to those marks I made here. So it's a little bit, uh, it's a bit of uh, precision work, but uh, nothing, nothing crazy. So basically the, those those spokes those spokes are residing on the on the hub uh, washer and on the inner uh, snap ring. Since I have nine spokes, I'm gonna extend it a little bit. Since I have 
nine spokes you see that the pair I have three pairs and one lonely spoke long spoke so now I will apply some flux this is the flux not too generously but enough enough for this flux to melt and to run through all the crevices of the parts to be soldered so you see it's a paste it's a it's a paste form see once once the wheel all the metallic steel parts of the wheel heat up the soldering then starts to kind of lead throughout kind of disperse very evenly I'll show you what I'm doing here here you go so unlike electric soldering you apply your tin on the tip not on the part so the iron is 80 watt weller one of the best soldering iron out there I had it like for around 30 years and it served me perfectly so that's normal that you have to wait like a couple of seconds you have to wait for the tin to, s to melt and to penetrate everywhere you want it to penetrate it could be that the paste has been burned off or evacuated already so you can add it add some more don't worry about it you, you're gonna wash it off later on so having more is better than less this is not something that will hurt you or your work so you see I don't have any more tin I need to add some more so you see how it bubbles it's good that's a fresh supply of paste so right here on this side I don't have enough I don't have enough tin that uh, reaches the inner snap ring I need the inner snap ring to be well to be soldered well so I'm gonna close this gap now this gap right here yeah that's it and then I'm gonna I'm gonna be filing it once everything is done there you go now it's all coming down oh yeah I don't know if you can see it but I can see it very clearly all this tin coming down beautiful to the inner snap ring I want the inner snap ring to be well covered well covered in tin oh yeah okay it's perfect oh yeah maybe I placed a little bit too much but it's, it's not fine it's not a big deal now I removed the gap plug I'm gonna I'm gonna place it again okay now it's down there perfect okay now I'm gonna be soldering the hub Now the hub is a little bit more difficult to solder because there like it's a knot of metal it's a concentration of steel and it's actually quite a big heat sink so you need a little bit more power more time to bring it to the correct melting temperature so maybe by that time you already lost a little bit of your flux you wanna add some more there you go you see just have to wait there you go you have all the stain melting throughout I think I'm done that's it yep. ok 
okay now it's quite hot huh so if you want to remove it you see all the glue has melted because it's so hot so when I keep the hot you want to keep the wheel inside the mold not to disturb the uh, the wooden setup because it's all glued with uh, glue, heat gun glue sticks so they're very prone to melt so I'm gonna leave it at that for now